I'm at the house at 6702 Mesa Glade in the Crest Ridge subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This house you can see is on a corner lot. We've got a nice mature tree in the front here. This is an oversized lot. I'm going to give you a look at the neighborhood here. This subdivision is close to I-35 and Loop 410. So you're close to Randolph Air Force Base and Fort Sam Houston. Pretty quiet over here in the neighborhood. This house, we're going to take a look inside. This house is a three bedroom, two bath, just under 1,100 square feet, single story home. Let me just show real quick before we go over there. This, that's that side down. Let me just step over to the right. This is an unusually large lot. It's not completely fenced in, but I just want to show that side uh, front yard goes quite a ways down. We'll head back to the yard in the last part of the video. Go inside and take a look. We got nice light uh, laminate floors in the entry and the living room. Good size living room here. Neutral colors throughout the house. To the immediate left, let me just lay out the floor plan. To the immediate left is a one car garage. Uh, behind the, the uh, window there, we got the, um, or behind the, the, the pass through, we have the kitchen and the eating area. And to the far right, we have the hallway which goes to the bedroom. So let's start here on the left. Uh, pretty standard one car garage. Um, and then you can also park another car in the driveway. So you could have two cars uh, dedicated, uh, dedicated spots for two cars. All right, we're gonna go off to the right side and start with the bedrooms. So after the laminate, we transition back to tile. We're gonna go left. We've got the two secondary bedrooms on the left. Here we have a linen closet. Here is bedroom number two. We have a ceiling fan in all the bedrooms and blinds throughout the house. This one has a little bit uh, of a walk-in closet here. This is bedroom number three. I'm not certain if these special hinges, let me just get close to these. These are like extended hinges. I'm not sure if it just gives you more clearance on the doorway. Uh, because we're going to look in a minute that there is a uh, wheelchair accessible hall uh, hallway bath shower. I'm not sure if that is part of that or not, but just want to point that out. Again, ceiling fans, uh, similar size bedroom. This is the hallway bathroom. Again, tile, your sink commode, and then this is a portion that you could roll in, uh, be wheelchair accessible, or if you're uh, somebody that uh, you don't want to you know climb over a large lip for a standard bathtub this would be perfect as a walk-in shower um, and then you just put your shower curtain across the top here it's got the uh, the handrails let me just back up a little bit and then you can put the shower curtain across which will prevent the water from going outside and it's also uh, tilted towards the drain so that's how that'll keep the water in let's go further down the hallway here we got the AC unit there, and right next to that we have the utility area, washer and dryer hookups. And then at this end here we have the master bedroom. And this has a ceiling fan, the blinds, and has like a four door. I have one of them open so you can see a little bit into it, but uh, four doors uh, that comprise the closet. So let me just peek in there a little bit, because all, all the way in, some closet space there. And then your uh, full bath, your sink, tile floors, commode, and your tub and shower combination. All right, so let's head back out to the front of the house where we have the uh, kitchen area. And then we'll finish up with the uh, large backyard that they have. All right, we're back here in an area here. Nice laminate floors again. Let's take a walk through here. Here we have the kitchen area and nice tile floors. Got custom tile 
countertops. Really cool looking. Double sinks. You got your flat top stove and uh, the refrigerator is included. And then also the dishwasher. So all you need is a washer and dryer and you're set to go. Okay, let me just back up again as we, if we approach this here, now this would be your eating area. This is where you put your dining table. You could put a decent sized table, probably fit, uh, you know, four to six people, depend, depending on the configuration of the table. You should be able to fit in a good sized table here and still have good access to your um, kitchen. On the left here is a, will be your pantry. That's a shelving space here. Okay, nice looking kitchen. Everything looks uh, clean and bright here, ready to go. And then finally we head out to the large backyard. Kind of uh, offset so that you go down the stairs first. We'll just show you the stairs. Of course, if you go through the front area, you have less stairs to uh, deal with. You can go through the side gate to the front area. And just walk down here. Doesn't look like a whole lot till you turn the corner and get to the actual back area. Again, this is a roughly a, a fifth of an acre total, the total lot size. So this is huge. Let me walk a little bit further. Let me walk to this corner here so I can pan again to the left and show you how big that side area is also. So that is quite a large area. And again, it goes around the corner some more. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.